Lewis, well batted. How impressive was that victory for the team? Yeah, fantastic performance. Um, great to get another win on the board. I think the bowlers were sensational this game. To keep the line length they did all game and build the pressure that they built was phenomenal. It's probably the best bond performance I've seen from the guys. Akers 170 odd to chase. How confident were you this morning when, when that target was set? Yeah, I sort of felt, you know, anything under 200 was was within our reach. Um, it was a tricky wicket up front with the newer ball. Um, there was still some variable bounce in the wicket. So, yeah, when we walked to the crease, we were in a bit of trouble. Um, but we just had to absorb the pressure, um, you know, get ourselves in and take it from there. Was that the key when you came in? Obviously, as you mentioned, two quick wickets had gone down. Was it just about surviving time and, and getting yourself in? Yeah, obviously still looking to score in your areas, but trying to be as disciplined as possible. Um, you know, we knew that with four seamers, they had to come back for their second, third spells. Um, it was in one of our chats upstairs, you know, keeping them back for their second, third spells. Um, and that's exactly what, what we did today. What was your assessment of the pitch and how it played across the four days? Did it get any easier bat on it at all? I think it got better through the four, through the three days, sorry. Um, I thought it was a really good cricket wicket, to be honest with you, because you could score your runs. But if you put the one in the right area, there's a little bit there for you. But for, on the whole, it was a fantastic pitch. And this man alongside you, the king of chasing, how good was he today? Yeah, fantastic. Um, some of the shots he plays are brilliant and the calmness he brings to, to our team and to his partners really is something to, to behold. And he's playing fantastic at the minute and I hope he's continued to the end of the year. And like I say, question about Lewis, I know he's been by his own admission scratching around for him a little bit, but is that a case of form is temporary and class is really permanent? Yeah, of course. Um, everyone knows Hilly's class. He's been phenomenal this year. Um, and long may it continue. Obviously, we've got a big three games coming up to, to finish the season. I think this this game was important for us to get a victory, you know, and you know to stay in contention um, for the last part of the season. Talking about Haley's leadership as well, how well has he led the team this season? Yeah, it's been very good. Um, you know, On-field staff has been brilliant. Um, he's been backed up by his birders as well. You know, I think our birders have really done um, a phenomenal job for us this season. Um, I think obviously you need a good bowling attack to win four day games and, and it showed, you know, in this game bowling might for one fifty first dig was, was a great effort. It's hard to single anyone out Lou across that bowling attack because they all were fantastic this game. But Tom Scriven, seven for seventy three, I think, in the match. Just how good was he? Yeah, I think all season he's been one of our real finds. I know he's been here for a couple of years anyway, but to play the amount of cricket he has and to bring the quality it has, I think that's testament to his character and he's he's got fit, he's always in the gym. Like he's a real key part of that bowling attack now and yeah, special praise to him because he's been phenomenal all year. Just how much confidence is there in the group now after the past month or so with wins coming after each other so so quickly? Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of confidence in there, but as we've just said, we're not getting ahead of ourselves. There's, as I can said, there's there's three games to go in this competition, and we're taking it day by day. And hopefully, we can put a good result up in the last three and see where we get to.